you are still watching this video to this moment i believe you know exactly what you signed up for we want to review this hostel and this hostel is grace alele williams hostel of michael opera university of agriculture modike umwaya guys the person of the preppers around is just something that is common to all the hostels in nigeria like all the hostels in the universities and tertiary institutions in nigeria because hostel is where you get first-hand information so every information from the sug from the school is first posted in the school hostel and this is the hostel reception area where you receive visitors the porters are seated you can see their cubicle there this is where you receive visitors who have seats even though from the look of things you can see that this seat no one will be able to sit on it but trust nigerian students we make do with anything we see you can see students in the evening sitting even on those seats that are already messed up okay now guys we want to look at the lobbies the balconies and all of that you can see through this you can see the vets <sighs> You can just see how tiny it is, but students will not only live here, but they will as well keep their cupboard in front of their rooms. And you'll be wondering how. Another thing that is common to Nigerian university hostels is they hire cleaners who they pay to come clean the student hostels. You can see the woman, she was sweeping the balcony, she was sweeping the lobby. Those are the desks that she has already swept. At the end of the day, she will still go to the toilet and clean that up. But the funny thing is, even after the cleaning, everywhere will still look very much dirty. Why? Because the hostel is obviously very old and it has lack of many maintenance what's preventing them from repainting some of these hostels now i talked about the lobbies what about the toilet obviously i had to make sure that the toilets were cleaned like wash before i did this video guys can you just watch where your children or where your sisters or where people like me live in can you see the bathroom i took my braids throughout my stay in this hostel in this particular bedroom and i must tell you that even though i was the first person that entered this particular bathroom and toilet immediately after they finished washing there was nothing to write home about you can see the taps like taps that were there for years nobody nothing has been done about the tap it's not even working by the left hand side you see the toilet can you see the toilets then guys nothing is working inside this toilet then you will now see also the sink Ali, are students supposed to be washing they were brushing their teeth inside this sink <sighs> then as you walk out you see at uh, that particular rails you see bucket and all of that these are their shiting buckets we call it shiting bucket where we sheet and do all of that guys this is one of the reasons why students you know have different infections like if you go to the medical centers you will see that students always suffer from one kind of infection to another i am a witness to this i remember staying in the hospital while i was sick the doctors they were complaining that have all the time students will come and tell them that they are having infection all the time guys this is one of the reasons imagine when they defecate in that bucket or they urinate they will now go pour it and all of that he just standing on that particular bedroom can even give you infection now let's look outside this is the outside the open air where students they kind of wash and spray their clothes talking of the rooms you can say that inside rooms is just synonymous to darkness you can see how dark this particular room is you can see my my friend standing by her own corner she was actually getting something from her cupboard oh my god 
Oh, you're so beautiful. I am a damn cell. Ah, I shoot. am a damn cell. <laughs> Guys, so this is uh, what a student Kubo looks like. Hi, Jesus Christ, what kind of thing is this? This is what a student um, Kubo looks like. Uh -uh. Why are you carrying this to cover your feet? Okay, so this is the pepper that we brought. I think you've seen it. Now, inside their room, they have four corners, and those four corners consist of eight different bunks. So they have four separate cupboards, which they divided also into eight because there were eight persons that are living in the room. We we'll have the lower bunk, then we we'll have the upper bunk for one corner. That's also for the second corner. You can see their their beds, you know. I don't know how they came up with covering their beds with um easy wrapper or something, even after the net. I guess it's because they don't want to be seen. They don't want anybody to see what they are doing while they are inside their different breads. But other ones, this is actually my first time of seeing this type. Although other ones you can just cover it with your net. Okay, you can see where they pressed their roasters for cleaning of the rooms, praying and all of that because it's obviously a fellowship secretariat. Like this room is for a particular fellowship inside the campus. You can just see everything about this room. Now this is a morning routine or a morning ritual in this hostel. You can see, oh my god, you will brush after brushing just by the balcony, the spaces that in between the rows. That's where you spit out <sighs> what as in like, oh my god, I don't know how to explain this. Shit. Mind you that this is also how they pour their dirty water. You can see a girl that is at the far end that is washing. After washing, she also pours the water through this particular space. I must as well say that this is upstairs. So I'm just wondering what happens downstairs. Like, oh my god, what happens to people that want to pass through? I even remember when I went to UNN, University of Nigeria and Suka, to write a post to me. Their own was even worse. Their own is before you pass through the company, you must be shouting, don't pour, don't pour, don't pour. Why? Because students obviously urinate and pour it directly on the compound or inside the compound. Guys, now this is just the real life of a Nigerian female student that lives inside the female hostels. This hostel is not like it's free or it's cheap or anything. This hostel goes for 20,000 Nigerian Naira. They have other hostels who better. They have hostels of 50,000 and 60,000 and all of that. But this one is for 20,000 Naira. So it is not free or something. Before somebody will not feel ah, it's because it's free. That's why it's like that. No. Hi guys. Hi guys. Now the washing of the brush after brushing is the one that really struck me. They will just pour small water on their brush like I'm doing inside the west bin that is in front of their rooms. So that's how they do it. Ah, just my toothbrush. When I get back to where I wash my toothbrush very well because this this method did not allow me to wash it very well. Okay, this is just um, can you hear that? Sweet hot balls inside the whistle. I still have my popcorn. You took my dress. <laughs> Don't make it